Uh, hi, this is your biology tutor, I'm Pine Soledly. Our topic for today is the action of pepsin on egg white or rather on our protein, right? So up here we have our egg. Now the yellow part, this is your yolk. And then the white part, that is your egg white, right? So we are focusing on our egg white or rather the protein. Hi, this is your biology tutor, Paiso uh, Our lesson for today is the action of pepsin on egg white or red protein. We have our egg up here. Now we have the yolk and the egg white. So we are focusing on the egg white. Right. So the aim of our experiment is that we want to show that big insoluble molecules are actually soluble, right? We want to show that the big insoluble molecules are soluble. Your proteins, they are soluble. All right? They are soluble when we break them down. And then after we are done breaking them down, they will be absorbed into the bloodstream. And then these nutrients are used up. But now, how are they made soluble? How do we convert from insoluble to soluble? Now, in our experiment, we have four test tubes, right? Now we have test tube A, B, C, and D. Now both the four test tubes, they contain boiled egg white solution or rather they contain, they contain our protein, okay? So in test tube A, you are getting boiled egg white uh, solution. B, you are also getting your boiled egg white solution in C and in D. Now, what is it that is different uh, in, in our test tubes? Now, in test tube A, sorry, in test tube A, you have pepsin. You have pepsin plus, you have pepsin plus your boiled egg white solution. In test tube B, you have your boiled egg white solution plus hydrochloric acid. Okay? And then in test tube C, you have your boiled egg white solution, you have pepsin, and then you have plus hydrochloric acid. In your last test tube, which is your control, you have your boiled uh, egg white solution. Your pepsin is actually boiled, and then we are adding hydrochloric acid to it. So in the first, uh, in the first test tube, it's pepsin, it's your enzyme, rather plus your boiled egg white test to be no enzyme but rather we have hydrochloric acid plus your protein test to see we have both the enzyme plus your hydrochloric acid plus your protein in test to see we have our hydrochloric acid but however pepsin is boiled now because this pepsin is boiled we can therefore conclude that this pepsin is denatured and then from there we have our boiled egg white solution. Now, what happens? Let's see, where are we going to get a positive reaction and where do we get a negative reaction? So going to our results or before we even go to our results, we know that in our stomach, uh, we have hydrochloric acid and where do we get pepsin? We get this in the stomach, right? So, okay, let me explain all this when we are done with the results. So, coming to our results, we are told that in test tube A, the color of your test tube A, it will be cloudy white. That is to show that it's negative. Test tube B, it will be cloudy white as well, negative. C, it will be clear. The reason for that is because chemical reaction or rather there was a reaction which occurred which will interpret within uh, seconds now and then in test tube d we are told that it will change from cloudy white to negative now let's interpret our results now to interpret our results we are told that the reason to why there is no reaction in test tube a it's because there is no acid that is added to this right now in order for your pepsin to work 
we need an optimum pH. Sorry, this should be P and then capital H. So our pepsin should be subjected to an optimum pH. So pepsin works best at an acidity pH. All right. So we find our pepsin in the stomach and we know that the stomach is acidity. Now, what is it that is making the stomach to be acidity? It's because of the hydrochloric acid that we find in the stomach, right? Now, because the tube A does not contain hydrochloric acid, we are told that there is no reaction that will occur here. Now, because there is no reaction, we are getting a negative, or rather we are getting negative results, and the color of our solution will be cloudy white it will remain cloudy white okay and then in test should be where we have hydrochloric acid plus boiled egg we are still getting a negative reaction the reason why we are getting a negative reaction is because we have a no enzyme in test tube b so what you have here is this your protein plus your hydrochloric acid now your hydrochloric acid alone cannot digest protein so in order to digest protein we need both the hydrochloric acid we need pepsin and then we need the protein what is it that we are working on so this is the reason why there is no reaction so because there is no reaction your test to be will remain cloudy white hence we are saying it's a negative response or rather it's it's a negative reaction and then in test tube c we are getting uh, uh in test tube c reaction in test tube c is actually fast uh because we have enzymes that are present we have pepsin that is present which is also subjected at an optimum ph this should be capital h again which is subjected at an optimum ph which is two all right so in the tube c we have both the hydrochloric acid now hydrochloric acid uh, plus pepsin plus your protein now our pepsin is in an acidic environment where is this acidity coming from it's because of the hydrochloric acid now the reaction is fast because these two work together all right so in order for them to work uh in order for your enzyme to work it should be uh at an optimum ph and at an optimum temperature all right so in short we are saying that in test tube c your pepsin will be able to digest uh your large molecules which are now your proteins now these proteins will be broken down into amino acids which we can absorb so we are digesting uh the large insoluble molecules into soluble molecules or rather the visible molecules okay so that is in c and then in d there is no reaction with d which is our control the enzyme is boiled now because this enzyme is boiled the enzyme is denatured now if the enzyme is denatured your enzyme will not do anything all right so this is what happens um or this is um this is this is what is going on so you are most likely to get this in question papers please do not do not fail this this time all right we we have explained what happens so in test tube a there will be no reaction because you do not have hydrochloric acid for your pepsin to be in an acidity environment and then in test tube b uh, there is no reaction because there is no enzyme in test tube c there is a positive reaction because your pepsin is subjected to an optimum ph at an optimum temperature so because of that your pepsin will be able to digest your protein or rather your molecules your insoluble molecules and then in test tube d there is no reaction now because there is no reaction your boiled uh your your boiled pepsin is denatured now because it's denatured it will not digest your boiled egg or rather your protein so this is how you explain in your paper three or rather in your exam okay so 
this brings us to the end of our lesson now in our previous videos i'm always forgetting to cite or rather to reference where am i getting all this information i'm getting the information from our namco modules i have i have more books i'll, I'll, I'll put i'll add them in the description uh, box below and also if you haven't watched uh, the previous videos or the lessons that we had earlier on we looked at the effects of temperature on enzyme activity effects of ph on enzyme activities and then this all right so i'll add the two links in the description box below so you can always go there and then you don't miss out on what we are covering so this brings us to the end of our lesson for the day please if you like our videos if you like our channel do subscribe so that you don't miss out so that you'll be getting notification when we post out new videos all right we wish you all the best bye